The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hello everyone. Let's take a look at the next three days. Wednesday itself, mostly just looking at clouds building up in the afternoon. Rain is coming in late on Wednesday, but a lot of it's going to be around midnight. It's more Thursday that we're looking at rain. Technically Thursday, we got a whole variety of stuff coming through, but mostly it's rain for a lot of us. Getting some freezing rain in the NRV and Highlands might get a little bit of a wintry mix. Maybe some accumulating snow, but there's a better chance for that on Friday. Rain to the east, snow to the west is the general rule on Friday. Most accumulations less than an inch. Once you get up into West Virginia, it gets a little bit higher than that. Two systems are causing the precipitation we have this week. The first one is in Florida right now. It's going to keep on moving towards the north, bringing us that rain that we've got Thursday morning. Again, freezing rain is possible. Sunrise is about 730 on Thursday, so a couple hours after that, the temperatures will warm up enough that freezing rain is not really a concern. We get a break in the afternoon, but coming Friday morning, the cold front comes in from the west, brings snow, especially towards the highlands and NRV. A little bit in the Roanoke zone, but a lot of those accumulations are just going to be a few tenths of an inch. Meanwhile, it's rain further towards the east, but that doesn't mean that things are going to stay ice free further towards the east, so especially Lynchburg and south side, because as that cold front comes through, there's a whole lot of cold air behind it and some high wind with rain just sitting on trees and power lines and anywhere else the rain is still is in the afternoon. That supremely cold air is going to be able to freeze it, so we might see a flash freeze. Could get some power outages on Friday. Christmas Eve, things are looking a lot drier, but it's still going to be really cold. Highs are limited to the 20s there. As far as the actual accumulation of ice goes from Roanoke generally towards the north and west, but also just a little bit north of Lynchburg, we're looking at a glaze up towards a tenth of an inch, some spots in the highlands. It's going to be a little bit less than what we had on Thursday in most spots, and then it might even melt a little bit in the afternoon with temperatures warming towards the 40s. Friday is kind of the busy day where we start off with the snow, especially towards the west, rain towards the east, and then a big change in temperature with lots of winds gusting up towards 30 miles or gusting towards 50 miles per hour, sustained to 30. Our snow accumulations are fairly light. Again, all these blue zones are. are the zero to one inch range. And then as you get up into Pocahontas, Greenbrier and Highland County, those are the spots that might get up towards two or maybe even three inches. Temperatures are really going to drop on Friday as the cold front comes through. We go from around 40 pretty early in the day down into the teens by 10 a.m. And then we just keep on cooling down from there with that big change in temperatures could get a flash freeze there and high temperatures for the weekend are not improving a whole lot. Christmas Eve, most of us are in the 20s NRV at 20 and south side tops out at 27. Christmas Day, it's a little bit better. NRV at 26, Highlands 28 and 30s in Roanoke, Lynchburg and its south side. We do have warmer air coming in after that, so if you get through, especially Saturday, things are looking up. Most of our temperatures overnight are close to average. Rocky Mountain at 24, Lexington at 25, and on Wednesday, temperatures are going to be pretty close to average in the mid-40s. Blackstrom 43, Alta Vista 47. On the extended forecast, temperatures are going to be pretty close to 40 for both Thursday and Friday. The coldest day ahead is Saturday, and once we get into the start of next week, things will warm up. For the three degree guarantee today, added on another $10 there, so we're up to 520 for the month so far. <clears throat>